Hello everyone, welcome back to another video about IELTS speaking part 1 Và trong video ngày hôm nay, chúng ta sẽ tiếp tục giải một chủ đề part 1 nữa ha Đó là chủ đề transport Và trước khi bắt đầu video thì mình hy vọng các bạn có thể bỏ ra vài giây để like Cũng như để lại bình luận nhằm tăng tương tác cho kênh và giúp kênh phát triển hơn nha Cảm ơn các bạn rất là nhiều Rồi cùng đến với câu hỏi đầu tiên ha, đó là How do you go to school or work? Rồi. Like many others here, I usually ride my motorbike to school It's convenient and easy to get out of traffic. I mean, my motorbike can easily navigate through small streets and alleys where car can go. Most importantly, I don't have to worry much about parking. That said, sometimes I opt for the bus, especially if I want to save money on gas or on petrol. Uh, petrol bên Anh, gas bên Mỹ ha. Question 2. What's the most popular means of transportation in your hometown? Well, I was born and raised in Binh Phu, which is a small province in the south of Vietnam, and based on what I have observed, the most common type of transport there is the motorbike. Most of the time when you head out, you will see a dominant number of motorbikes on the street, mainly because it's more affordable compared to other modes of transport and also more suitable for the road infrastructure. Question 3. How far is it from your home to work or school? Model 1. My house is about 10 kilometers away from my school, so it's quite far. It usually takes me approximately 30 minutes to get there if the traffic is good. Sometimes, if I get stuck in traffic, it may take almost an hour, which is terrible. Model 2. My house is only about 3 kilometers away from my workplace, so it's quite close. It usually takes me approximately 10 minutes to get there by motorbike if the traffic is good. Actually, the short distance was also one of the main reasons I applied for my current company in the first place. And the last question. Do you think people will drive more in the future? Model 1. Yeah, I guess so, but they may use more eco-friendly vehicles with water run or electricity engines instead of combustion one like they do now. Given the current challenges with air pollution in many countries nowadays, I believe the shift towards greener vehicles is gonna happen soon as part of the collective effort to address environmental concerns. And Model 2 Probably not. With the rapid development of robotic technology, a future of driverless cars seem totally viable. If that day comes, robots will help us drive to places and we're not gonna have to spend much time driving like we do now. Ok, đó là toàn bộ bài mẫu cho cái chủ đề này ha. Hy vọng là những từ vựng cũng như là những cái bài mẫu mình đưa ra giúp ích cho các bạn. Ok, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next videos. Bye bye!